So there's that. So that's one thing that I'm employing my gameplay. The other thing that I'm employing is this. Watch this. One camera. So I, I, did, I just did this out of curiosity, like how would you navigate you know, transdimensionally if you only have one camera? Of course, if you have two cameras, you can either use the top screen, the top screen, or the bottom screen to navigate. But if you only have one camera, you can't use the second screen. Um, uh, how would it work with only one camera? All right, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. Yes, so you only have one camera and that's it. That's the end of the maze. It seems like, it seems like you're trapped, right? So, wait, let's fix this. Oh, look, and I didn't even have the ups and the ups and the downs of the downs. Uh, let me put it back the way it was. Was it like this? No, it wasn't. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the maze. That's blank, that's blank, and that up there is blank. So, um, you know, just messing around with it, I found this. There you go. That's how you travel transdimensionally. You just switch transdimensional vision. Except, uh, instead of having two cameras, you just have to switch back and forth, right? So, this can kind of get complicated. Uh, and this does get complicated if, you know, like, uh, especially with four dimensions, um, when you don't know which way you're facing, if you want to keep, if you want to stay consistent, you, if uh, using using the same, uh, the same method that I use as light blue being transdimensionally up, dark blue being transdimensionally down, uh, pink being uh, up, physical up, and red, dark red being down. You can do that, uh, but you have to make sure that you switch back and forth appropriately. And let's see. So that means the walls will have to be green and yellow. So I'll make the wall walls green and yellow. So there's green and yellow walls. Okay, so th this is this is the room that you explore. There's that, there's that. But every time you switch the camera back and forth, you have to do it like this. There you go. Isn't that interesting? It's beautiful how the sh how the room shifts. But like like I mentioned in another video, it's not it's not the room, it's not the walls that are shifting. It's your perspective. So, but the thing is, is that facing that way is not the same thing as facing that way. You're facing two completely different ways, I say, uh, as I said before, even though, even though it looks like, it looks like relatively the same room. So you have to make sure, you have to make sure that you keep that in mind. And just like I did in, video, in videos before, I'm first going to try out this principle with, uh, with a 3D maze, with a simple 3D maze, one camera, and I'll, I'll go back to what I was doing in the beginning, which each camera only shows, um, uh, it's, so, so, so this is going to be a two-dimensional experience in a 3D maze to be able to relate the, uh, the three-dimensional experience in the 4D maze. So, so it's only showing that much. Let's see. So you have you have blue walls, you have red walls, and you have green walls. Okay. Good. So I'll go like that. And if you imagine this three dimensionally, you know, this this room right here, this hallway right here, this being right here, from this wall to the far end wall. Um, it's not the same, it is not in the same direction as, oh, it's not in the same direction as this one, right? So if you travel that way, if you travel forward this way, if you, if you, if you travel to, oh gosh, if you travel to this wall, you will not be, you will not be close to that wall, you will not be in this spot. You will travel in a completely different direction. You will abandon this room if you travel if you travel in that direction. So, kind of what you have to do is switch back and forth. OK? 
okay in here it changes and in this spot there is no up or down okay switch back to the original room and switch back to transdimensional vision and there is there is a way out so there's two things to explore here there's this spot the spot that I'm in right now and I uh, and that spot, the far away spot where I started off. And I didn't, so the spot that I'm in right now, it has an ascension point. And the, and the spot over there, it has an ascension point, but I didn't check if it has a descension point. But let's just explore this spot. So you have to remember this room, this hallway, uh, with the green and the red, and there's three, and the three spots, and the, another green right here. So, but let's, let's explore. And then each step that you take, each step that you take, you're gonna have to face back or face back to the original position and check it out. So this is a completely different room. And each step that you take, you're gonna have to check if there's an ascension or descension point. So yes, it does get complicated. So right here, this spot does not have ascension or descension. Go back. This spot where I'm at, where I'm standing right now, that has a descension point, that, which is where I came from. What about this spot? This spot does not have dissension. It does not have ascension. And I don't know how to read what these openings are. I think, I think that means that, let's see. Oh, freak. I think I'm getting confused now. Let's put it that way. I think that, I think those openings, ah, no. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. I think those openings were referring to these, probably. All right, let's check it out. This spot does not. This spot has a descension point, so I could go down here. And let's switch back. So this whole switching back and forth is a lot more com compl makes things a lot more. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so there's a descension point. Yeah, this whole switching back and forth makes it a lot more complicated. And I hope the colors don't go away because then it's going to be even more complicated. Okay, so this spot does not have a de dissension point. So we find out a, a couple things. This spot right here has a dissension point, and I could point downward because that's the actual direction, downward. And I think either that crevice or this one right here is where we came from. So that's the way back. But let's explore this dissension point. And see if there's what this room is like. Hopefully I can reach the exit before there's nothing here. So we're just going to go back. Yeah, hopefully we can reach the exit before... Uh, before... I get too confused about where I'm going. Oh no, wait, okay, see. I, th I think I forgot to go down here. I forgot to ascend here. So ascend, switch. And I think the dissension point here is, yeah, if the colors, I think the colors are about to go away, I'm gonna have to re keep track of which's left, or what's right, what's red and what's green. And I haven't been doing a good job of that. So I think this is the original, this is back, oh, the colors are going away, right, right, that switches to red, I think this is the original hallway, yeah, this is the original hallway, let's just go with that assumption because I'm not even sure, so if I remember correctly, this should have an ascension point, ah, no, all right, I don't know if I switched out red or green and with what, so I don't know if that's up or down. But if I didn't check, I remember in the beginning, I didn't check if it had a dissension point. I hope this is the dissension point that I didn't check. Uh, so that might be dark blue, but there should be an opening here. That's light blue. Okay. So I, I, I at least know where light blue and dark blue is. Keep that in mind. I don't get confused. So switch out to light blue. I have ascended. And now we have this left and right. Okay. So now I'm going to look towards light blue, see if there's an ascension point, nothing. And dark blue, nothing, okay. Uh, 
one more right here. So I'm facing light blue right now. Switch it out. Was that light blue? No, no, no. This is dark blue right here. So this is a distinction point. I don't even know. Okay. This is the original room. All right. Now see if this one has ascension, descension. Did I switch back to ascension? I can. Oh. So I think I, I if 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 I this might be dark blue. This might be light blue. I don't know. I didn't keep good track of it, but. The important thing is, is that I reached the exit before, before I got too lost, before I had to go back. If 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 I if I would have messed up and if I would have gotten lost, I would have had to made my way back. That is, test out which which walls brought about the, the 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 familiar shapes of the rooms because there's no colors anymore. So you have to go by the shape of the room, and once you find a familiar shape of a room, which could be another room that just looks the same. Uh, but once you find a familiar shape of a room, you have to go to the places that you remember going to see if they bring up. And if you completely forget everything, just start all over again and this time keep, you know, just start all over again uh, with no colors and just make sure you keep track of which way you turn. So it would have been that complicated. It would have been that complicated if, if I didn't reach the exit before, before I did or at the time that I did. But yeah, so so that's a new way to play um, with with only one screen. But you have to like at, at each step that you take, you have to check the transdimensional direction to see if there's openings up or down. Um, I tried doing the medium size four dimensional with using that feature with switching cameras feature. It's complicated. There is a way. There is a way in which uh, in which instead of instead of looking instead of looking. Uh, Instead of having to check at each spot, at each step that you take, having to check in the transdimensional direction, uh, you can see you can see the hallway and you can see all the ascension or descension points. There is a way to do that, but right now I'm 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 just starting. I'm just trying to keep things simple. So I just take a step, check both ways. Take a step, check both ways. Take a step, check both ways before I decide which way to move. Um, so I'm just doing that right now, just to like emphasize emphasize in my mind what you know like the technique that I'm supposed to use but just to do that let's see if we let's see if we could test it out <laughs> 